cathedral way which might give away where it leads to <laughs> another old cobbled pathway which feels a little bit dangerous so I'm going to try and avoid the cobbles I'm going to go for the slabs now that tree wasn't in the way you can have a lovely view <laughs> of the cathedral now I'm not saying cut the tree down but uh, <laughs> there we are look it's part of the cathedral it's an absolutely beautiful building if you've not been to Gloucester Cathedral before come and have a look beautiful inside they filmed a lot of Harry Potter here as well in the cloisters so if you're a Harry Potter fan you definitely want to come here why is he ringing that bell so much I thought it was gonna you know I was, I was counting I began counting thinking it was going to tell me what time it was but it just keeps bonging and it's not 20 million o'clock is it? If we zoom in you can see there's all sorts of gargoyles on the roof. So here we are, I've made a £5 donation to come in, you don't have to give any money but as soon as I'm filming I felt it was the right thing to do. It's beautiful in here, I just had to show you. See, uh, so it's a bit bright actually, but when the sun comes through the windows you get the beautiful stained glass coming through. You can see the sun rays beaming through as well. Beautiful. Whether you're religious or not, you've got to appreciate the beauty of the building and the amount of detail that lies within. Absolutely stunning. Look how tall that roof is. There is so much to look at, so many fine details. I almost feel like I'm not allowed in here because it's so beautiful. Sounds like there's some service. Yes, in progress. I won't film in, that's rude, isn't it? Look at all this stained glass. I don't think the camera truly shows how magnificent it is. flags hanging up. Imagine how old they are. <laughs> There's so many little rooms that have all got fantastic detailing. And these tombs, you know, there's really important people laying in here. Marble tombstones. So, so much detail. And this one here is in the little room. He's been cordoned off because of the amount of graffiti he suffered, if you can see. 
you call this an altar. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love the floor. The floor is just great. I'd love that in my house. I once came in here and they had loads of choir boys in here all singing and it, it brought a tear to my eye. Their, their voices were beautiful and they echoed in the ceilings of this beautiful cathedral. And that organ is magnificent, isn't it? You are like a big organ, aren't you? <laughs> and if I pan round here, you can see that massive stained glass window or an array of stained glass windows. I think a little nativity scene going on here for the kids and that. Got the treasury down there. I've never been in there. I'm always too fascinated about the, the ceiling and the glass. Well, this is what they call the cloisters. And this is where a lot of Harry Potter was filmed. Now, all these black squares are actually graves and I feel kind of bad walking on them so I always try and avoid it. People do traipse up and down them and they're absolutely ancient these. Well, what's the date on them? Like 1804 on that one? I don't know. Just rather not tread on people. <laughs> Now that, that is actually funny <laughs> because in my Christmas decorations I have a glittery spider and I call it the Christmas spider. So there you are. It's a real thing. I knew it. <laughs> oh wow, look at these floating candles they put up. <laughs> They're cool. They're a bit spooky actually. Sorry, I just caught my eye as I was going through. Look at how, I don't think the camera can pick it up, but how warped the windows are. <laughs> well, now it's all very Christmassy down here, isn't it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the date is actually, but um, yeah, it's getting near, it's only a couple of weeks. This door really is keeping the weather out, isn't it? Um, <laughs> they, there is a garden out here, but I guess they've closed it off because it's not safe. Oh, they got me looking up again, look. It's a lovely stained glass. And those massive wooden doors gift shop over there. So there we are, a mini tour all across the cathedral. Come and see it for yourself. And down here in the corner away from the cathedral is this lovely little, I guess you call it an alley because you can't drive up here. It's a nice calf there, Lily's, I've been in there before. Got a Beatrix Potter shop if you like Beatrix Potter. quaint. There's lots of little hidden alleyways in Gloucester. Up there there's Angie's Bar. I went in there with my friend Holly for her birthday drinks and it's actually a really nice little bar but it's hidden away. One of my favourite shops in Gloucester has got to be the Antique Centre because inside there's all different cabinets that are sort of owned or rented by different people selling their own different individual stuff. Ah, uh, go on, we'll have a little look. Of course, the main bit I come to look at, <laughs> the model cars. Oh dear. Yes, 
Keep your money in the pocket, Alex. Long time of year to be spending. Oh, look at the P4s. I don't think I've got that grey with cream on it. Move away. Mickey Mouse so that's one. Really looks a bit more authentic. <laughs> so I was thinking of Simone then. There's some older railway memorabilia here as well. I really love this light, but it's not for sale. I've got a thing for cats with marble eyes. They sort of follow you around the room, don't they? <laughs> you can see what I mean about the randomness of it all there. There's lots to look at in here. And uh, I've already got all the presents for everyone, so I'm going to stop looking now. I've just seen something else. Stop looking, Alex. I picked this up for my friend Chris. You'll probably see this, Chris, before I actually get to give it to you, but this is coming your way, mate. It's really cheap. Couldn't resist it. Even if you've already got one, you can have another one. It's plastic. I've been in the knobbly cob several times. <laughs> like a nice jacket potato from there. I don't know if he's going to want it or not, but I got my friend Clive a pasty. So uh, I better head back to the car now and go and see him. I'm rushing here because Clive's pasty is going to go cold. But I just remember this was out here and I just wanted to show you quickly. It's just some ruins, but... I don't know what, what ruins of, but I just had to show you the ruins that are randomly around the back of the shopping centre. <laughs> Gosh, it's sunny, isn't it? It's lovely. Really nice. Uh, there you go. Random ruins between some modern buildings. There's probably information about what the ruins are somewhere, but... The pasty's going cold. The pasty's going cold! Oh look, there's a plaque. Gloucester Greyfriars. There you go. That's what it was. Oh yeah. That's what we like. Nice. Ha ha. Jessie, what's that great big thing parked next to you? At least there's no one on my side. 